Hi, I am Emma. If you'd asked me just a few months ago how my life was going, I'd probably have told you things were pretty ordinary, nothing too out of the blue or exciting. My life was neatly packaged in a routine that I felt comfortable with. I worked in a high-end office in the bustling city, hung out with friends on weekends, and enjoyed my life for what it was, simple, predictable, and without many surprises. I've always been dedicated to my work. In my office, I had become known as the go-to person when anyone needed help, a solution, or just someone to talk to. My colleagues were like a second family to me, and I always felt like I belonged. But if there was one thing that stood out about me, it was that I had never fallen in love. I had dated casually in the past but never felt anything deep enough to call it love. It didn't bother me, though. I figured love would come when it was supposed to. That was until Bella arrived. It was an ordinary Monday when Bella walked into the office. She was introduced to everyone, but I didn't pay much attention at first. She was new, and as with every new employee, people were curious. Bella was different, though. She wasn't just another face in the office. She had this magnetic energy about her, charming, confident, and effortlessly cool. Before I knew it, everyone wanted to be around her. I watched from a distance as my coworkers flocked to her, trying to make conversation or include her in their lunch plans. I didn't think much of it at first. I've always been content with my circle, my space, and my routine. But it wasn't long before our boss asked me to mentor her, and that was when everything began to change. At first, our conversations were brief, mostly about work. She was just as dedicated and hardworking as I was, maybe even more. I admired that about her. She had a quiet determination, and though she was new, she quickly caught up and excelled. Our teamwork was seamless, and soon enough, our short professional conversations turned into longer chats. We talked about everything from our favorite movies to our weekend plans. It felt, easy, like I had known her for much longer than just a few weeks. Then, one day, we had a small accident at the office, nothing serious, just a spilled cup of coffee that we both tried to clean up at the same time. In the process, we ended up laughing so hard that tears came to my eyes. It was in that moment, as I looked at her, that I felt something shift. There was this unfamiliar warmth in my chest, this strange fluttering sensation that I couldn't quite place. I brushed it off. I mean, I'd never had feelings like this before. For anyone. Especially not another woman. I convinced myself it was nothing. But it wasn't nothing. Over the next few weeks, Bella and I grew closer. We started spending time together outside of work, grabbing lunch, going for coffee, and just talking. It felt natural, but also a bit intense. My heart would race when she smiled at me, and I found myself thinking about her more than I probably should have. I still didn't understand what I was feeling, but I couldn't deny that there was something there. Something strong. One evening, we decided to go out for dinner. It was the first time I saw Belle outside of her professional attire. She was stunning, and I suddenly felt nervous. My hands were sweating, my stomach was in knots, and I didn't know why. We talked like we always did, but there was an unspoken tension in the air. After dinner, I invited her over to my place to watch a movie, not thinking much of it. When she suggested we watch a movie about a lesbian love story, it hit me. Was she trying to tell me something? Was I feeling the same thing? I didn't know. I was confused and unsure, but as the night went on, and after a few drinks, we ended up dancing in my living room. Our eyes met, and suddenly, I couldn't breathe. The air felt thick, the room warmer than it had been moments before. Then, it happened. Bella, I feel something different for you, I blurted out. But I'm confused about what this feeling is. She looked at me, her expression soft but serious. I feel the same, Emma, she said. Is it love? And just like that, we kissed. It was slow, gentle, and yet full of emotions I hadn't ever felt before. In that moment, everything changed. We both knew this was something more than friendship. 
From that night on, Bella and I were inseparable. Our relationship grew deeper, more intimate. We would steal moments together at work, whispering to each other during breaks, and sneaking glances when no one was looking. It felt exciting and terrifying all at once. But there was a problem. I wasn't ready to tell anyone. I wasn't even sure how to label what we had. I had always considered myself straight, and the thought of others finding out scared me. I didn't know how to deal with it. Society had become more accepting, but there was still a part of me that feared judgment. I didn't want people to see me differently. Bella, on the other hand, was more open. She understood my hesitation but didn't share it. She was confident in her feelings, and she didn't care what anyone thought. That difference between us began to create tension. I wanted to keep our relationship hidden, but Bella wanted us to be free, to love each other openly. It was hard, balancing my fears with her desire for honesty. And then, one day, it all came crashing down. We were in the office break room, sharing a tender moment when someone walked in. I didn't even notice until I heard the door close behind them. Panic shot through me, but Bella stayed calm, as always. I convinced myself that maybe they didn't see anything. Maybe it wasn't as bad as I thought. But it was. Later that afternoon, our boss called us both into his office. I felt like I was going to be sick. I knew what was coming, but I wasn't ready to face it. He asked us outright, is there something going on between you two? Bella didn't hesitate. Yes, there is, she said, her voice steady and sure. I stayed silent. I didn't know what to say. I could feel the weight of everyone's eyes on me. The entire office had found out, and now, I had no choice but to face the truth. Our boss told us that relationships like ours couldn't be allowed in the office. It was unprofessional, he said. We could continue working together, but we had to keep things strictly professional from now on. It was a blow, not just because of the work situation, but because now the whole office knew. I could feel their judgment, their whispers. I hated it. I wasn't ready for this, and I didn't know how to deal with it. For days, I avoided everyone. I couldn't face them, couldn't handle the looks, the gossip. Bella tried to be supportive, but I was pulling away. The pressure was too much. I was losing myself, losing control, and it scared me. But then, one evening, as we sat together in my apartment, Bella said something that changed everything. Emma, you can't keep hiding forever. You don't have to be afraid of what others think. What matters is how you feel. Love isn't something to be ashamed of. Her words hit me hard. I realized she was right. I had been so focused on what others would think that I hadn't stopped to consider what I truly wanted. Did I love Bella? Yes, I did. And that should be enough. Over the next few weeks, I started to accept my feelings. It wasn't easy, but with Bella by my side, I found the strength to embrace who I was. I learned that love isn't something that fits into neat little boxes. It's messy, complicated, and sometimes, it surprises you. But that's what makes it so beautiful. In the end, I decided to be open about my relationship with Bella. It was scary, but it was also freeing. I no longer cared what others thought. I realized that the only opinion that truly mattered was my own. Bella and I were happy, and that was enough. So here I am, telling you my story, hoping that maybe it will help someone else who feels like I did, confused, scared, and unsure of how to navigate love when it doesn't fit the mold. But here's what I've learned, love is love. It doesn't matter who it's with or what others think. What matters is that it's real, and it's yours. And that's enough.